Hello everybody, this is U, and today I'm going to show you how I set up to film for YouTube. I'm going to show you how I set up the backdrop, how I manage natural lighting, what kind of equipment I use, and all of the good stuff. Audio, lighting, camera equipment, and where I place everything. Even, even my schedule to eat for water breaks. And now that I mention that, I need, uh, need some water. So, if you want to see how I set up, keep on watching. This is a disclaimer that the re only reason why I've got all this stuff is because I work as a wedding videographer by trade, which I've transitioned over. It's a complicated story. I'll let you guys know more in the future. You know, you'll have a chance to get to know more about me, but today is about how to set up for YouTube, and I want to focus on so letting you know that you really don't need this camera and this camera and this flappy thing and this you know laptop over here and mirror and all that stuff to really get started on YouTube. I'm just showing you how I get set up for YouTube and it gets you kind of an idea of what you want to do and my way is not the best. There's many different ways to set up how to film out there but I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you'll be able to kind of uh, find it interesting how I set everything up. I did a lot of research before I tried to put things up the way I do and there were certain videos that really showed me people set up and then there were others where I just, I really didn't know where they put stuff and how it logistically works until I finally sat down and I put my things up and set them up and lighting and I took into consideration batteries. I have to keep them charged the night before and all of that good stuff. So um, it's a whole ordeal to set up to film. And if you take it seriously as a full-time job, you prepare ahead of time, day of shooting, it goes a lot easier and then you get everything cleaned up, upload the memory, cards, you have the videos, you edit it, you upload it. Just like you getting ready for work. You do your makeup, you get ready, and you go to work, right? So I look at YouTube as is my job. I get ready the night before, so I'll do my manicure because that's really important. And then if I'm doing a background like this, I'll, you guys will see how I set it all up, but sometimes I do that the night before. I'll set it up, I'll steam the whole thing, let it set overnight. I'll take out my equipment, kind of have it set up and ready for me in the morning because in the morning um, I, I try to film very early. So I wake up at 5, I'm working out, I'm showering sometimes, I'm blow drying my hair, I have to do my hair. I like having my hair ready before I do my makeup. I sit down in front of the camera, everything's set to go, and then I film and also I eat breakfast. When you put all of that together, it's, 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 a, it's a big task to set up to film. Also, my husband goes to work in the morning, so he leaves around eight, seven sometimes, and I wanna make sure that I'm filming when he's gone, otherwise he's, you know, in the kitchen, messing around, and you know, it's just a lot of noise. And so he leaves, I film right away, I get started, I get all of my footage, and it takes a while for me to film, sometimes all day, because I'm just starting out. So I have, maybe, you know, in the morning, I'm just, trying to get everything settled. I have to do a few retakes and then I have to stop for lunch. Um, the first time I set up, I didn't stop for lunch because I was still so, I was just so frazzled. So I was like, oh, there's this thing and I'm trying to you know, get the camera ready and the batteries charged and memory cards are running out of memory. Oh. And my makeup stuff, supplies weren't in their right places. I had to run over there, come back, you know, focus the camera. It was just, it was a lot of work and it was a lot of disorganization. It just caused more problems for me. But today, I got everything ready, I started filming, I paused, went to eat my food, as you'll see, I came back, continued, well, you know, reapplied my lipstick and then continued. And that's what you really have to do. You really have to look at it as a, a full-time job during the day and take a break, come back, you continue to film. Also with the way that I film, I am maneuvering between the audio, I have another camera that I'm kind of using to do the detail shots on the side, I have this main camera right here, and just maneuvering between all 
three of these aspects just and then also talking having my um, ideas organized and and for me to be able to articulate what I'm talking about also to be able to not forget my steps for my makeup it's just a lot of different things to think about it's like five different things really that I have to balance if I'm showing you how to do a makeup tutorial, I just want to make sure that I, I remember every single step, not like the first video I did. I just completely was like so frazzled. I didn't put my foundation on. You want to see that video? It's hilarious. It's right there. I'm going to link it. You know what? I haven't done this for a long time, but total props to the YouTubers out there who have done this for many, 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 many years and who start off and who are just grinding and I have absolute respect for all of you and all of them. So let's just be YouTuber buddies and friends and a great community. I wanna build a great community of loving and supportive women, people. So, ooh, group hug. Here we have my backdrop set and I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. One of these, one of these, and the best way for me to show you really is for me to set it up so you can see. Oh, I'm so hungry now. Comes with four of these, and you can imagine that would be a really long backdrop. So what I did was I just used two because I my space is smaller, so I just used two, and two is enough. Right, right here glamorously in the corner of my bedroom is where I store all of my equipment and we're just gonna go right over here this is the, the boy that we use to store my main camera so, and this right here is what I'm gonna take out and just boop. and now let's switch BAM and now I am on the camera. This is handheld, so it is gonna be a little bit shaky, but I have one, the memory card, two, the battery, so make sure you format your card, make sure you've got enough room, and your battery is charged. Those are the super, super noob mistakes that I've made starting off. Okay guys, I am just gonna lunch first. Before we start again, because it's right on around one, one now, so I gotta have more energy so I can film more. So intermission. I am done with my lunch. Reapplied the lipstick. Here we go, guys.
Okay, so you can see that this one has a shotgun mic, so that amps up the audio just a bit more. And over here is just the camera audio. And we have the audio, which usually I just kind of set it, I set it right here to the side. So we have this connected up, the live view, and this one has the Cam Ranger, which is connected to the phone right here. And I've got this reflector right here, so it will illuminate dark circles from my eyes. Now you can see because the sun is coming out, it is just so bright right now. Now I'm going to show you what I do when I am just putting on my makeup. This is the final setup and I hope the lighting's okay. The sun has finally disappeared. I've got some pod lights up there, the lights on, I've got a reflector down here to without the reflector with the reflector and now let's apply some lipstick today I used color pops lipstick in the color foolish this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks at the moment That's it. Simple, right? <laughs> Not really. But now you know, and I hope you enjoyed watching me set up, show you how I set up to film for YouTube. And yeah, it's a lot of work, but I love it. I feel happy getting everything put together. I actually love setting everything up and I love sitting and doing my makeup and filming a video where I get to film it and have a, a final product. I'm really looking forward to being more creative in the future and doing more videos where I maybe get to go outside and I shoot some lookbooks and I'm really excited about that. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be notified of new videos. Also, I have another video of where I film in my bedroom where that's how I've started filming in my latest video. It's just a better lighting controlled system, well, lighting controlled environment because out here, all of the windows, it's natural lighting, the lighting's shifting, it's, it's on and off and just a lot of uneven lighting. So, and also with the backdrop, I like the backdrop, but um, it's a lot of work to set up and I like the background in my bedroom, controlled lighting, just, you know, you just gotta make do. Anyway, my house is kind of like a studio right now. I have sometimes the couch. I'm using the couch to film and, you know, my bedroom, converting that into filming space and now, you know, my office and um, blocking the piano off and I don't know, maybe over there. <sighs> so, I mean, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> you really wanna do this if you wanna start your YouTube, you don't need everything that I have. You can start with your cell phone. And the only reason why I didn't is because I have all of this. So I'm using what I have. And oh, yeah. <laughs> and even if you don't have a background, a backdrop, you can use a background. And I'll show you kind of, um, if you don't have this lighting, you have natural lighting. and. There, there's different ways to go about it and if you have if there's a will if there's a will there's a way and I believe that if you want to do it you'll make things work and I am trying to make it work with the house with the space that I have and I hope you guys enjoy that's all for this video and I will catch you guys next time bye